He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Okay, let's try some calculations regarding molarity. The first question asks, a solution contains 50.0 grams of sucrose, which has the formula C12H22O11, and it has a volume of 210 milliliters. What is its concentration? Second question asks, what mass of sucrose is contained in 750 milliliters of a 0.250 molar solution? And the third question asks, if 10.0 grams of sucrose are dissolved in water and the resulting solution is 2.3 molar, what is the volume of the solution? So if you're not sure how to approach these, check out my tutorial on solutions and molarity, and that'll run you through the strategy for these kinds of questions. And when you're ready, give it a try. So let's take a look at this first one. What is the data that we have? Well, we have 50.0 grams of sucrose. But if we're looking at concentration, if we're trying to get concentration, we know that that is equal to moles per liter. So we don't want grams, we want moles. So let's take our 50 grams and calculate moles. So if we add up 12 carbon atoms, 22 hydrogen atoms, 11 oxygen atoms, we're gonna get to 342.3 grams as the molar mass of sucrose. So let's do 50.0 grams times one mole over 342.3 grams, and that means we have 0.146 moles of sucrose. Now to get the concentration, we just need to put moles over liters because concentration is moles per liter. And so we have 0.146 moles as we just got. And then liters, we have 210 milliliters. So let's just call that 0.210 liters. And then we can plug that into the calculator and we get 0.696 molar. That is the concentration of this solution of sucrose. Now, moving on to the second one, we're looking for a mass and we're given a concentration and a volume. So using concentration, we can get moles and hopefully from moles, we can get to mass. So let's set this up this way. We know that concentration or molarity is moles per liter. So let's put concentration equals moles over liters and plug in what we know. We have 0.250 molar, that's the concentration, that is going to be equal to the moles, however many moles we have, over 0.750 liters. Remember, we wanna convert milliliters into liters in order to do this and get the right math. So if we solve for N, we end up getting 0.188 moles. That's how many moles of sucrose we have in here. And then luckily we already calculated the molar mass of sucrose. So let's just take 0.188 moles of sucrose times 342.3 grams per mole. And that gives us 64.4 grams of sucrose in this solution. Okay, let's look at the last one. So we have 10 grams of sucrose and we dissolve that in water and the resulting solution is 2.3 molar. So we wanna know what the volume of the solution is. So once again, if we have mass, we're gonna need moles. So let's just go ahead and convert that right off the bat. 10 grams times one mole over 342.3 grams. That means we have 0 0.0292 moles of sucrose. Now we're ready to do a calculation involving the concentration. We know that concentration equals moles over liters, right, moles per liter. So let's take 2.3 molar, that's the concentration that we know, equals 0 0.0292 moles over some volume in liters. So now we can solve for volume. So let's solve for volume in this equation and that is going to be 0.0127 liters, which is equal to 12.7 milliliters. And that is the volume of this sucrose solution. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.